Hi, are you Dr. Zita Potential? I was referred to you. Yes, I'm Zita. Are you interested in Surpass? Yes, but I'm new to this field. What is Surpass used for? For solid surface charge analysis. For solid what? Big name, I know, but an extremely useful method and easily applied in many areas if you use Surpass. I see. Could you give me some basics? Absolutely. Two magnets. They attract each other. Why? Because they have different poles. Plus and minus attract each other. Now the magnets repel each other. Why? Because now their poles are the same. Plus repels plus. And minus repels minus, yes. Now imagine this is the surface of a solid. And this is water. They meet. When a solid meets a liquid, an electric charge forms on the solid surface. This surface charge can be negative or positive, And it's described with the so-called zeta potential. In this case, the surface's zeta potential is negative. Now imagine dissolved substances in the liquid, like salt in seawater. How will the surface interact with the positively charged ions of the salt? The surface's zeta potential is negative, so the surface will attract the ions to a certain degree. The surface will adsorb the ions. Adsorption, yes. Okay. So you see, the zeta potential tells you how a surface will interact with the liquid, how the surface will function. Surface functionality. That's an important keyword. Okay. So surpass determines this zeta potential. Based on this information, I can modify or treat a surface until it interacts with a liquid like I want it to. Yes. Plus, the zeta potential also allows you to characterize the surface itself. It gives you the isoelectric point, for example, which quickly tells you if a solid surface is more acidic, basic, neutral or inert. And there's much more. I guess surpass is mostly used for academic research, right? Not only. 40% of our customers are from industries. Which industries? Many make membranes to filter salt out of seawater or dirt out of wastewater, for example. Surpass helps you develop perfect filter membranes. You modify a membrane until it has the right zeta potential. Then the undesired solutes are adsorbed and the water passes through clean. So water is a big topic. Yes, Surpass is mostly used to investigate the interaction of solids with aqueous solutions. Many customers want to know if a solid surface will adsorb or repel certain solutes. Some use surpass to measure biomaterials. A medical implant needs a certain zeta potential so it will adsorb proteins. Only then the human body accepts the implant and heals. What are other customer wishes? I need color to stay on cotton fibers or I need shampoo to wash off hair. Well, the conditioner should stay on the hair for a while. Cosmetics and detergents, anything to do with washing or cleaning, it's all to do with the interaction of liquids and solid surfaces. So, surpass is employed. Another application is wettability. Say I have a plastic foil, maybe food packaging, and I want to print pictures on it. The foil zeta potential in contact with the water-based ink tells me how well the foil will be wetted and how good the printing will be. So PASS tells me why the foil behaves this way, so I can make a targeted change. And I get all this information based on the zeta potential. Exactly. Oh, but let's be precise so that there's no misunderstanding. Imagine two different groups of samples. Here we have macroscopic solids of any shape, like plates, foils, fibers, granulates 
or powders with particles larger than 25 micrometers. And here we have particles which are smaller than 25 micrometers. If you want to analyze the zeta potential of macroscopic solids, you use surpass. If you want to analyze the zeta potential of smaller particles, you use an entirely different method, electrophoresis. This tells you how stable particle dispersions are, for example. The zeta potential is most famous in connection with such particles. So when people hear zeta potential, most of them will think about particles. That's not surpass. Surpass analyzes the zeta potential of macroscopic solid surfaces. This is really useful to me. I'm interested. But hold on. Is surpass really the best analyzer of solid surface zeta potential? Yes, by far. Honestly? Absolutely. It truly surpasses all other solutions. It's got better quality, it's easier, it's faster. Surpass has the highest degree of automation, so it's the most reliable option. You can let it run measurements by itself for a whole day. With other solutions, you have to stay with the instrument and make adjustments all the time. Plus, Surpass has an integrated pH measurement. No other solution has that even though the pH value is an essential factor in zeta potential analysis. Surpass automatically measures the pH value constantly. Another plus is Surpass's wide range of measuring cells. You can measure planar samples, that's rather common. But Surpass is also open to many more sample geometries. You can measure fibers, medicinal tubes, powders, large disks, and much more. Surpass is the only instrument that gives you that kind of flexibility. Great. Where can I find out more? Anton Paar has issued a compact guidebook that introduces you to the Surpass measuring method. That's a great place to start. As well as our website, anton pacom of course. Okay, thanks. One final question. Is that your real name, Zeta Potential? No. <laughs> I thought so. It's Zeta Barbara Catherine Potential. Ha! <laughs> Wonderful. Well, thank you for these insights. Anytime. Have a nice day. <laughs>